Rockingham, The Rock. It's been a couple years since we've been here. Been, we were here in 2022 and the car was still turbo. Uh, if you will remember, there's a lot of smoke. I don't remember what it was from. I think it was a leaky valve cover gasket. Uh, a lot of smoke against David Gates and that uh, ended our weekend. Hopefully we got a little better shot this weekend. Uh, we are still number one in points. We are the number two seed, which means we will race number 15, I think. So that's either going to be Nate Saylor or Chris Rankin. And uh, we will know that not shortly, but before the end of the night. Track looks pretty good. Yeah. Uh, it's cooling down. What do you think? I think it uh, looks like a bowling alley out here. Yep. Yep. It's gonna be good. Feel be a fast it. track. It is gonna be fast for sure. Do you remember what all the smoke was from last time we were here? Was it a leaky valve cover gasket? No. <laughs> no, we torched that head. Is that what happened? Yeah. Okay, I couldn't remember. Yeah. No, uh, all the fire from inside that cylinder got out. Remember, uh, it went in into the intake. Was that here? Yeah. Man, it's done it twice. It did it a few this times. This is the first time that it did it. Yeah. It did it a few times. So. Uh, <laughs> Look at that lane. Jesus. No. It's wet. Yeah. Woo. It's not. Yeah, it looks like a bowling <laughs> There's a lot of nail <laughs> prep over there. Yeah. yeah. Crack me up. Fire aid. Every time I'm on fire, I use fire aid. I need to cool. I need to cool fucking Sean down with this dude. Like he's on fire right now, dude. I'm gonna fucking do something here. Clay, Clay's on fire. Oh, you
What do you think? It's, it's good. I think that they had a radial race here last weekend. That's and it was it very, like. very, very, very good surface last weekend whenever yeah. they had the radial race. T1, we because probably could have put a 275 on it. It's still really good. Yeah, I told Swanstrom last night, I said, man, if you brought the, the radial car out here, man, you'd probably win this thing. Yeah. You know? So, and, and with the radial on it, you could probably slow it down and still outrun you know yeah. what we are with the yeah. times that the 275s are running yep. so you know it, it's like anything else uh the first round was really rough last night uh most everybody shook and the people that didn't shake saw everybody else shaking so they went back and made the adjustments that they needed to make um we went out here and we tried to go really fast first pair first, down the track yeah first pair down the track because yeah, um, we're stupid <laughs> yeah but that is uh Unfortunately, that's the track that we're gonna get today. Oh yeah. Uh, we could have went really fast here last night, but there's no sense in it. In my opinion, it was just, it would have been putting laps and beating on the car for no reason. Yeah. We're, we're never gonna be in the air that we had last night, and we're never gonna be in a track that the sun isn't beating on. Right. So that's why we wanted to go first, so that we could have two decent hits in, in the daytime. Unfortunately, the first one just didn't pan out. It happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, regroup, come back, make a couple solid passes. Yeah, we made. I was happy with the passes that we made. Um, everybody was throwing up some some hail marys. Final round passes last night. Yeah. So there's a whole lot of uh, there's a whole lot of personal bests on their draggies. That's right. And, that's right. You know, and we went up here and uh, we made a, a good, decent run against Scott, and that and that's the run that we wanted to make. Yeah. He outran us. Yeah. You know. It is what it is. Uh, it was testing. I wasn't real worried about the light. Uh, I wasn't real worried about, I wasn't racing Scott. Yeah. We were making we test were passes. So, uh, you know, Scott's car's running right now. So is everybody else's. So is everyone else's. Seems like everyone has the same goal that we do right now. Go fast. <laughs> yeah. Go fast. Go fast and win. Yeah. So, it sucks, man, to think that we've came this far uh, and the championship could be taken away, but it's like like everybody said it's anybody's championship right now Yeah, that's the reason that they start these fucking points over, mm -hmm. you know So, first round exit there, uh, points and a half at Rockingham. Not good. Uh, we came into the race like 40 points up. We're number one. We left the race. Uh, we're in second place, five points down. So, it's not the worst position in the world that we could be in, but 
wasn't good. So we decided we'd stay after the race and Ryan had rented the track to get some testing in for himself. Uh, he invited us to stay, get some testing in, and that was, man, we, we needed to. Um, kind of lost with the car, slowed down a little bit here and there over the last few races. Uh, getting a few test laps in was probably the best thing that we could do at this point. So uh, we got there the next day, unloaded the car, got it ready to go. Um, everything seemed good. Um, you'll see here, our first pass was, was great. Uh, 95 degree track temp, uh, air was worse than we've seen all weekend throughout the race. Uh, I mean, it was, it was just all around hotter, hotter track, hotter, well, not hotter track, about the same, same track temp, but a hotter outside temperature, uh, the air conditions weren't as good and we made a good pass. So, unfortunately, I don't know, there, there's, there's a good and bad here. Obviously the bad you'll, you'll see, uh, the good is we found out later that it could have been much worse, but it, uh, it wasn't, I, I guess what happens here was kind of a blessing in disguise that it happened while we were testing and not during first round at steel coming up. So, um, that's what this next part of the video is Sunday after the race, uh, testing a murder Nova, trying to make it fast again. And, uh, the day started off a success. It, you know, it ended successfully, but also badly. So check it out. shared anything so uh, I think uh, yeah, one, two. I, don't know if I, I feel like there was a lot of pressure inside here and then it blew this thing out last time I remember last time it did it and uh, it just I know yeah kind of no it was uh, I feel like this was a little bit more excessive I didn't see it until after I got that side off no you didn't oh uh, this one yeah Driver, man. <laughs> <laughs> oil? Is it full of oil? Not on this side. There ain't no oil on this. Alright, let's get the, the coffee over the oil. Alright. 
call Brandon. You send him that? Yeah. So I look over the engine real good and the plug to make sure that's all it was. Yes, Alright, everything's moving there. That's a good sign. We've seen you do oh, this. What are you doing? Okay, I was gonna say we didn't make it to the we didn't even, we didn't even make it to the 330, and it still went back to the 330. I mean, I mean, yeah, it wouldn't wouldn't have changed much. You know what I mean? Like that's about where it happened. So whenever we put these together, I always compress it. You know, pretty much afterwards to find out what the compression is, cranking compression. So here we're just checking to make sure they're at least still close or the same. Is there a certain number they're specifically supposed to be? Uh, no. Where did guys look at? In the car. It's uh, number, number, number five is, hey, no, number five is not good. Yeah. Oh, number five is not good? That's where that plug came from, isn't it? Probably. Yeah. Uh, they got it yeah. Press, nothing? Nothing. Well, I mean, okay. 25. Uh oh. Well, number this three. one, this one's the same. Number three. So then, this does go this way. Looks like it. Looks like it got off. Yeah. I think three degrees out today. How many? Three. Three. Is that still on there? Of all of them. All of them. Wait. All three. Oh, oh. What? We didn't pull timing out. We pulled fuel out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Boom. What is that mark on that piston right there? Probably the sleeve.
Well, that's the worst we've ever heard it. So, tried to test, tried to get faster again, and we did. We went faster. And... We don't really know faster than, you know? I feel like faster than we have been in the last few races. Yeah. Unfortunately, we had parts failure. Um, at 94 passes, which is amazing because we broke the crank last year at 96. Yeah. 96. 90, no, 94 last year. Same pass. Same pass. It's pretty crazy. So, Pretty crazy. Uh, we didn't break the crank, but Doug is thinking that it's probably cracked. Yeah. Um, but we did some stuff to this thing, and we'll hopefully, whenever we pull that head off, which we have, yeah. we'll show more. Yep. yep. But I don't believe that we're going to get that chance right now because there was only a couple of options, guys. Um, and one of them being not race this weekend. That's definitely not an option. I feel like even though that's on the table, that's not an option. Yeah. Um, the second one was put the MH5 in it, but it needs sleeves. Yes. So we dropped it off only last week from the OG, uh, and they haven't done anything with it. Understandable. Yeah. You know? I mean, Obviously they're, they're kind of busy around Obviously here. Obviously they've done enough with it that they know that it needs sleeves. Yeah. And we knew that. Yeah. Last time we freshened it up, we talked about it. We, we, we felt the ripples in the sleeves. We knew it. Um, they're probably gonna do everything with that. Put mains in it and everything. Mm -hmm. Like mains. Mains. Not main bearings. Main caps. Main caps. I um, said one was fractured, one, possibly. Yeah. Um, so, uh, the other option was to buy a brand new one. That's not really an option for us either. We don't have, we don't have a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh, there was another option and that's the one we took we chose option c <laughs> and that is they have a brand new block sitting on the shelf they're going to build that for us we have spare heads uh if anybody remembers we saved up and we, we've got some spare heads this year <laughs> yep. so we have a fresh set of heads sitting here and we are going to have them put together us a short block which essentially we're doing this winter anyways right i just needed to sell the mh5 to be able to you know to rob Peter to pay Paul. Yes. Uh, and here in a minute, I'm going to go have a sit down with Dillard and I'm going to tell him. Look, look man, Peter, look. Peter's going to have to wait. <laughs> look, man, Paul ain't got the money right now to give yeah. to Peter. Yeah. So uh, they're going to freshen up the MH5. I'll sell it. And then selling that with the freshen up cost and all that, I I'm probably going to be out 20 grand. Yeah. I can deal with that. Yeah. I, I, can, I can come up with that. Not right now. Yeah, yeah, eventually. Yeah. We're good for it. Yeah, so. We'll give them an IOU, and that's, that's right. better than I'm money. Look, man. <laughs> just know, and you can tell people, I yep. owe you. Yep. Well, you can check my record. Yep. I pay. Yep. So, yes, that's the plan. We're not getting a full motor intake to pan. We are getting a new short block. Hey, and then, with that being said, they can fix the motor that we hurt this week. Mm -hmm. Just uh, not in time for Alabama. They can fix it in two days. Right. Um, the sleeves have to come out. And then the block has to be welded up, which it's inside 
it's not like we didn't window the block. No. Well, I mean, we did essentially, but not from kicking a rod in the, the normal aspect that normally yes. windows the block. Yes. Uh, so what they'll do is they'll weld all that back up and then they will machine it back out, kind of like what they do when they bore motors. Yeah. And then they'll fit the sleeve back in it and it'll be, you'll never Good even be able to tell by looking at the motor. Yep. Um, they'll crank the old welder up to about 250 amps, weld it up make it round again, slap some sleeves in it. Yep. So basically, guys, uh, what everybody here is saying, it uh, the, the sleeve failed. Yeah. There's no, I, I was sure that, that we messed that deal up whenever we did the fueling for it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Brandon assures us that we didn't. Yep. Uh, you know, we mess with the car a little bit. Brandon tunes for us, there's no doubt about it. Uh, but whenever we're testing and stuff, we normally go out, we put our best foot forward. Uh -huh. And our best foot forward was, was decent. Yeah. We were happy with it. Yeah. So then we, we gave it to Brandon, he touched it up, and it went real fast. It went real fast. And then, boom. It was, Man, it was so loud. I don't think we showed the intake. So standing on the starting line, Sean gets to about 330 feet and just, boom. I got on the radio and I said, well, that ain't good. And he said, no, it is not. Well, we get to the end of the track. And this is what we see. So this is the burst panel. Huh? Okay. Uh, this is the burst panel, blows off. I think this is 125 PSI. So we have popped them before, but it was from, uh, it's a wear item, right? So you pull this out and then we can close the doors down. It's a wear item. You replace them. I replace them every 50 passes. This one was due in steel. I was gonna change it this weekend. Well, we get to the end of the track, seen this. Was hopeful that this was it, but with it being this bad, we kind of had a feeling that it wasn't. That's when we started doing the compression test. Found three and five with no compression. Turns out it's because they were sharing compression. And uh, here we are at Proline. Got the motor yanked out. Uh, probably go ahead and rebuild the converter while we got it out. It's just right there. Um, and they're going to put us together another short block. So these are our new heads that we bought this year. They've got 40, 44 passes. And then these are our original heads that they rebuilt and they've been in a trailer for spares in case. So they're going on the new motor. Uh, we'll use our valve train for now, our intake and uh, go back racing. <laughs> you know hopefully i mean this is what we had planned this winter anyway yeah we just have to kick it up a little bit winter got here soon winter got here sooner than what we thought uh guys and this is why we say no matter what we do man you're always going to need a spare man yeah like to run at the level that we are we're one of the the few people out here you know that that doesn't carry a spare around with us you yeah. know and and Ryan told me, he said, hey, man, I got a spare sitting in the trailer. Yep. Like, he 100% would have let me throw his motor in this car. For sure. For sure. Man, I hate to... I that's, that. that's, that's, that's a lot to borrow. Well, that is 100% a lot to borrow. Yeah. And when I borrow something from somebody, that's now mine. Yeah, yeah. No, you got to buy him a new one. And I have to buy him a brand new one. Yeah. It's Brandon. different if it's a blower or a converter Man, look, or a set I'm of injectors. <laughs> I'm going to borrow some stuff like that. Yeah. But a hundred, I mean, let's be honest, my $120,000 motor? Yeah. Nah, I can't, I can't, I can't borrow that. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to. like taking somebody's house and uh, <laughs> living in it for six months. Yeah, and then you know, moving out and saying, new. thanks, man. Yeah, that they've never, they've never stayed here. Yeah, in. I vacuumed it before I left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, it's just, you can't do that, man. Yeah. Like, and doing it the way that we're doing it it is cheaper on us yeah for sure um i'm not crying here guys saying that we're we're on a, a smaller budget than everybody else we just have to be smart yeah you know what i mean we can't go out and 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 buy a hundred thousand dollar motor yeah um we could piece some together oh yeah you know oh yeah so that's what we're gonna do here now if you would like us to be able to afford to be able mm -hmm. to go out and buy a spare motor we got plenty of space on that white car. Oh, man. The, the, the sponsors that we've had this year, the only reason that we're even thinking about doing this right now, because otherwise, I don't know what we would be doing. Yeah. No, so, we'd, we'd be in a we'd be in a pickle. Yes. We've uh, we've done pretty well at saving our sponsorship money, 
and using it for the things that we need to use. Yeah. One of those was get through winter, but I yeah. don't know now. Yep. So, um, you know, obviously, thanks to Ramjack, they're a huge part of what's happening right now. Yes. Um, you know, Milron came on board with us for a couple races. Uh, that's definitely helping here. Yep. And then, you know, everybody else that's on the back glass or on the quarter panels or anywhere you see something, like, they're they're all a part of, of us continuing this uh, championship hunt, man. Because yep. that's, that's the goal here. Also, if I have a vehicle that anybody wants to buy. Yeah. Like, pretty much right now, everything's for sale. I'm going to sell something when I get home. Yeah. I'm going to have to. Yep. Um, oh God, I don't want to sell my K5. That's probably the easiest <laughs> thing to sell, though. I'm gonna sell the yeah. 454 at some point. Uh, Dad just painted it. Mm, it looks a, good. It too. looks real good, man. And honestly, I don't think I would take a penny under 36 for it. But but you know, I if think, you showed up with enough cash, I don't know, man. Hey, honestly, I, I don't. All right, I'd probably take 35. Yeah. But I don't think if somebody brought me 34, I'd sell it. Yeah. It's, not, it's, it's worth more than that. Yeah, I mean, Especially with everything that we put new into New motor, it. The, all the, motor, the holly. Just freshening the motor up with everything that we put in it, all the good stuff is six grand. Yeah, all the all the Isky valve train and, and the nicer heads good and all pistons. that stuff. Yeah. Uh, Got yeah, them valve pop-up job. pistons. Yeah. Talking some good muscle. It runs really good. Everything's good with it. Yeah. Holly EFI. Yeah, Nick got done tuning the Holly with their with the new transmission controller and everything. There's runs, a couple of things. Runs great. There's a couple of things that we need. AC's ice cold great. though. AC's great. Um, but the speedometer does not work. Oh yeah, that's easy to fix. I'm upset about that. I'll, yeah. That's that's it though. Uh, the radio. Something's wrong with the radio and that. Man, thing. that's and, and that's look, like the song, look, man. That you can talk about a crappy vehicle, but there ain't nothing wrong with the radio. Well, that yeah. truck's nice, but the radio don't work. I know. Hey, and I'm not, I'm not putting an aftermarket radio in that. No. I might lower the back down a little bit, you know, set it flush. Because right now, you know. Oh, like, yeah, that's right. We were supposed to get a 2-4 I was going to put a 2-4 for, for on it. But yeah, we still can. I don't know. You know, unless somebody shows up with the money first. Man, I like that thing, though. It's pretty cool, especially after it got painted. Yeah, and then the stickers will be new on the side. and. Yep. Everything's been fixed on it. Tailgate, door, door handle. handle, all that stuff. Even new inside door handles. Oh, Dad was yeah. upset about those. They were too loose. He said they were flopping. Yep. So, well, I don't know. May end up uh, taking the the green wagon to Barrett or something. Oh yeah, that'd be kind of cool. It just too. sucks because now's not really the time to sell things, you know. And I don't think that I would part with the wagon for under eighty. Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, twenty grand in gold on that car. Yeah, there is. Jesus. And but now, well, hey, it ain't for everybody. Not only that, it's got twelve thousand dollars worth of Expel wrap on it now too. Oh yeah. So. Or whatever that stuff costs. Probably a lot more for that car. Probably. It's big. It's buku. Well, they even said that they didn't have that to do it all as a one-off. You know, they print all that stuff out that will fit the contour of whatever car you're putting it on. They have programs for all that. They winged it on that one. Oh, wow. That's why they said that it took them three days to do it. Wow. I can't imagine them doing that for ten grand. Yeah. Yeah. 